drugs used in leprosy. So there are four classes, sulfone, phenazine derivative, anti-tubercular drugs and other antibiotics. We can remember this by the mnemonic SOAP SOAP. In sulfone, we have a single drug, dapsone. In phenazine derivative, we have a single drug, clofazimine. In anti-tubercular drugs, we have rifampicin and ethionamide. And in other antibiotics, we have ofloxacin, moxifloxacin, minocycline and clarithromycin. We can remember this by the mnemonic CD-ROM. C stands for clofazimine and clarithromycin. D stands for dapsone. R stands for rifampicin. O stands for ofloxacin. M stands for moxifloxacin and minocycline and E stands for ethionamide. So of the three important drugs, dapsone, rifampicin and clofazimine, dapsone and clofazimine are static and rifampicin is a sidal drug. Now let us move on to the important differences between posibacillary and multibacillary leprosy. So posibacillary leprosy, infectious, no. Multibacillary, yes. Skin lesions, less than 5 in posibacillary, more than 5 in multibacillary, peripheral nerve involvement, 0 to 1 nerve in posibacillary, more than 1 nerve in multibacillary, biopsy, bacilli is not found in posibacillary, multiple bacilli is found in multibacillary, cell mediated immunity, normal or partially deficient in posibacillary, largely deficient in multibacillary, lepromin test, positive in posibacillary, P for P, and negative in multibacillary. Clinical course, there is prolonged remissions with periodic exacerbations in posibacillary, whereas anesthesia of distal parts and ulcerations occurs in multibacillary. Now moving to the different treatment regimes in posibacillary and multibacillary leprosy. So in posibacillary leprosy, we give rifampicin 600 mg once a month plus dapsone 100 mg daily. So dapsone has a D, daily has a D, so dapsone is given daily and the duration of treatment is 6 months. In multibacillary, we give rifampicin 600 mg once a month plus clofazimine 300 mg once a month plus dapsone 100 mg daily plus clofazimine 50 mg daily. So the duration of treatment here is 12 months. Moving on to some important features about the individual drugs. First, dapsone. Dapsone is a leprostatic drug. It is closely related to sulfonamide. So it inhibits the enzyme folate synthetase, thereby inhibiting the conversion of PABA to dihydrofolate. It is metabolized by acetylation, half-life 1 to 2 days. The adverse effects are mainly GI disturbance, methemoglobinemia and hemolytic anemia in G6PD deficient patients. The most important are the uses. So dapsone is used in MLPD. So L stands for leprosy. M stands for malaria. It is used in chloroquine resistant malaria. It is given with pyrimethamine. P stands for pneumocystis zirvoki pneumonia in AIDS patients. And D stands for dermatitis herpetiformis. Moving to clofazimine. So clofazimine is a leprostatic drug. It is a dye and has anti-inflammatory activity. It is stored in skin and reticuloendothelial tissues from where it is slowly released. Therefore, it has a long serum half-life of 70 days. Due to the anti-inflammatory action, it is used in type 2 lepra reaction, which is also called Arythema nodosum leprosum. Because it is a dye, it will cause skin and hair discoloration, it will cause skin dryness and it will cause skin itching. Moving on to the last and the most important drug, rifampicin. Now, rifampicin is the only drug which is bactericidal. Rifampicin is the most effective and the fastest acting drug against leprosy. So this is most important. Before we end, a quick look about the different type of lepra reactions. So there are two important type of lepra reactions, type 1 or reversal reaction and type 2 or arythema nodosal leprosum or ENL. Occurrence, type 1 reaction occurs in both posibacillary and multibacillary leprosy, whereas type 2 reaction occurs only in multibacillary leprosy. Type 1 reaction is a delayed hypersensitivity or type 4 reaction, whereas type 2 is a type 3 hypersensitivity reaction. In type 1 reaction, there is cutaneous ulceration and nerve involvement, which is common. In type 2 reaction, there are red painful tender nodules, whereas nerves may also be affected. Type 1 reaction is treated by corticosteroids and analgesics. Type 2 reaction is treated by corticosteroids, analgesics, clofazimine and thalidomide. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, please share and subscribe to the channel so that you remain updated with the latest content.